Today, these nine students will put their brains to the test as they take the most exciting final exam of their lives. Thousands of dollars are up for grabs as we find out who is the know-it-all. And now, here's the lady with all the answers, Tasha Neal. Hey, Buckeye Files fans, and welcome to Buckeye TV's newest and hottest show ever, the show that tests your knowledge of trivia, the know-it-all. I'm your host, Tasha Neal, and joining is our scorekeeper, Amy Ham. Are you ready, Amy? I am. Looks like we've got some great competition. All right. Today, we're going to put these groups of three contestants through a series of questions to test their Buckeye Q. Our questions will cover a wide range of categories, from sports to geography to math, even Buckeye facts. The winner of each semifinal round will win $1,000 and automatically advance to the final round. The winner of the final round wins $1,500 and will have the chance to double their winnings with the final question. One of our contestants could win up to $5,000. I'm sorry, did I, did I say that right? $5,000. Are we excited? All right, let's get this started. Well, first of all, losers, none of you guys are going to be losers because you each get to go home with $100 for every question that you answer correctly. So no one goes home a loser on this show, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start by introducing all of our guests. We're going to start with Lauren. If I mess your name up, you can beat me up after the show. Okay, we're going to start. Lauren, you pay later? You pay later. Say it again. You pollard Okay. All right. And you're a senior in communications. And you have a twin sister. I do. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. So do you guys, like, know what each other are thinking? Is that, like, true? Uh, not quite. But we know each other well enough to pretty much know what each other's thinking. So okay. not completely ESP, but. Okay. Like okay. That. That's pretty cool. Did you play any tricks in school where, you know, you sat in for your sister for a test or something? Well, we're fraternal, so we uh, don't look identical, so we couldn't do that, but um, we have fun together. So. Cool stuff. Cool <laughs> stuff. All right. Thanks for being here. And our second guest, we have Juliana Lippis. Hello. I said that correctly, right? Okay. You don't get to beat me up after the show. And you are a fifth year molecular genetics student. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. I already feel stupid. So, you know, um, <laughs> you are an ice skater for OSU. Yes, I how cool is that? So is that kind of like um, Disney on ice, or how does that work? Um, well, I do synchronized skating, so it's kind of a team thing. Um, we don't really do uh, jumps, but it's more like being completely synchronized. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm also part of the ice skating club, too, where we do do like freestyle and stuff, so it's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. So do you want to do like professional? Um, no, it's more just a, a hobby. I don't think I can go professional. Okay, so. so she's pretty smart and she can ice skate. I mean, I don't like you. Okay, so in our final contestants, we have Colin Salas. Did I get that correct? Salise. Salise. All right, all these difficult names. Of course, I'm not the know-it-all. And you are a major in geography and atmospheric sciences. Mm -hmm. All right, two brainiacs. You single? You single? <laughs> okay, not that. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, and a fun fact about you is that you're the weatherman. Yeah, I just for Buckeye TV News. Okay, cool. Best Buckeye TV News or best weather across the country. Woo -hoo! Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> All right, that, enough with the browning points. Okay, <laughs> so thank you all for being here. And we're going to go ahead with semifinal round one. And we're going to go with our first question. Question number one. When referring to one's mental abilities, what does IQ stand for? And we'll have you jot it down. You have 15 seconds, and your time starts now. When referring to one's mental abilities, what does IQ stand for? And it wouldn't be the initials of my name, because I don't have an initial. Four seconds, guys. All right, pins down. Don't be cheating. I don't like you that much. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's start over with Lauren. Let's see your answer. Okay. I put intelligence, quality, and okay. a sad face. Cause okay. And a sad face. Word. Juliana, what did you think? I put intelligence quota. Okay. All right. And Colin. <laughs> I know it's not correct, but I put eternal questioning. All right. Well, let's see what the <laughs> correct answer is. Intelligence Ooh. quotient. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's, that's all right. Mm. All right. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, yeah, see, this wouldn't be me. So, you know, we're going to just go ahead and go to this. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go to the second question. That's all right. Question number two. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Let's see who's going to get these points. In U.S. geography, which river flows through the Grand Canyon? You have 15 seconds starting now. In U.S. geography, which river flows through the Grand Canyon? I can tell you that the answer is not Hoover Dam. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Four seconds on the clock. All righty. Let's start with you this time, Colin. Weatherman. <laughs> I said uh, Colorado River. Okay. All right. And let's go next. I know it's wrong. I just wrote the first na the first thing that came up, the Nile. Okay, Pretty sure that works. I, I, I agree with you. <laughs> okay. And finally, we go to the end. With I wrote the, that river right there. That river right there. I think that's the answer. Let's check that out. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh! oh. oh Colin, you go. <laughs> Give me a high five from over here. Up. Oh. Uh. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you're absolutely correct. Now, did you know that, or did you just guess? It was a guess, sort of, it guess. but it just made sense that. Okay, all right. I just, I don't know, tune to it Makes sense, again. unlike my life. Okay, so we're gonna go to question number three. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. What classic TV cartoon sitcom is set in the fictional town of Bedrock? And it's not the song that comes on the radio. 15 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Starting now. What classic TV cartoon sitcom is set in the fictional town of Bedrock? You guys got five seconds. Looks like everyone is done. Pretty easy one. All right. Let's start with you, Juliana. What did you think? The Flintstones. Okay. All right. How about you, Colin? Flintstones. Okay. Two, two out of three. And... Flintstones. Okay, so, you know, I think the Flintstones too. I can make your bed rock. Okay, and the answer is the Flintstones. Everybody has points. Yeah. Rock albums. All right, the Flintstones was 1960. Wow, okay. All right, so you guys ready? We're going to go on to the next. We have Colin in the lead. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Alonso, too. All righty. So we're going to go to question number four. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. yes. All right, let's hit it. In zoology, the name of which animal is derived from the Greek for river horse? River horse. It's not the little mermaid. <laughs> 15 seconds on the clock, starting now. In zoology, the name of which animal is derived from the Greek for river horse? Can you get that answer? Let's go. Five seconds. Time is up. Lauren, what did you think? I said hippopotamus. All right, stop calling me names. Um, Colin, <laughs> let's go with you. No <laughs> idea, I just Were reeled you? right. Okay, now I'm oh, hungry, Taco Bell. Okay. Put a zebra. Zebra. <laughs> they all sound right to me, I think they're all winners. What's the answer? <laughs> that was your twin telling you to yeah. cheat. <laughs> He's so cheap. And the hippopotamus meaning horse. And the Greek word potamus meaning river. So pretty sweet. That kind of looks like me. Yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> you guys ready for the final, final question of the round to see who's going to get to move forward to the next round. But no losers here. All right. Question number five. Located on the western end of the Oval, whose statue can be found in front of Ohio State Main Library? 15 seconds, seconds starting right now. Located on the western end of the Oval, whose statue can be found in front of Ohio State Main Library? You guys have about five seconds left. This is for all the Chalupas. All righty, let's start with Colin. What did you think? Oh, I went with William Thompson. Okay, where did you go with him? I know where. <laughs> I just, we had a little date the other night. <laughs> Juliana. 
Um, I went with President Thompson. <laughs> okay, all right. And I one. went with President Blank because I did not President know. Blank, I've heard of I him. I should have gone with their answer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see who got the right answer. William Oxley Thompson. So judges, we're gonna both correct, right? Yep, <laughs> both are gonna be correct. All right, so all right. One, two, one. <laughs> All right, scorekeeper, what do you have going on? Who's our winner? We have Colin as a winner with three points. So, all right, Colin. Yay. Winner of round number one. But no losers here, especially how cute you guys are, whatever. You guys are never losers. So, Colin, you're going to move forward to the second round, and you're the winner of $1,000. Can I borrow 500 of that? No. No? Okay, cool. <laughs> You're not cute anymore. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go on to round two right here on the know-it-all. We'll be back. 